Checking on Money Matters this morning. So much for Delete Facebook. The social media giant is adding users and opioid prescriptions are down and that could be good news for the job market. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ on this Thursday. So Jane, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, good news when it comes to opioids. Yes, this could mean more jobs, Bruce and Jen. There's been a lot of people addicted to opiates who have been on disability, haven't been able to work. So we did see opiate prescriptions drop 12% in 2017. That was the biggest decline in about 25 years. And if that trend continues, it could add to the labor force. One economist expects a boost of 10,000 new workers a month for the next two years. We'll see. So, Jane, parents are probably going to like this. YouTube is finally giving them control over what children watch on its kids' app. <laughs> yes, so starting this week, parents will be able to choose from a selection of trusted channels if they don't want their kids to have access to the broad selection of content on kids' YouTube. So this takes away the algorithms, which can kind of lead you places you don't really want to go with YouTube and uh, did show inappropriate content to kids. So parents have been asking YouTube for this for a long time, and they'll be able to have that this week. So after the Cambridge Analytics scandal, people said, that's it, I'm deleting my Facebook account, I'm oh, yeah. gone. And despite all that talk, <laughs> Facebook is growing. It is bulletproof, it seems. It says it reversed its first ever decline in daily active users in the U.S. and Canada during the first three months of this year. And that comes despite that backlash from that massive data scandal. So Facebook now has 1.45 billion daily active users worldwide, 2.2 billion monthly users, and both of those up 13% year over year. And talking about social media, Snapchat, Jane, has redesigned its app again. Again, it cannot catch a break. Soon as it released this, the stock was down. So it changed the app just months after that previous redesign that ticked off so many people. On the Discover page, some users now see a test that shows stories from their friends as well as posts from celebrities and other influencers that they subscribe to. So that's a reversal of the change that they made months ago. I don't know, a few people say they like this change. So we'll see if Snapchat recovers. I don't know, everybody I know that yep. says they can't really find out how to go ahead and tap what area on the screen to get their friend's snaps, they're, they're just not happy. But hey, it is what it is. More important things <laughs> in the world to talk everybody. about, huh, Jane? Yeah. Have a good day, Jane. All right, yeah. thanks.